Pilavulakandi Tekeprambal Usha born the 27th of June 1964 is a retired Indian track and field athlete. She has been associated with Indian athletics since 1979. She is often called the Queen of Indian Track and Field. Topic: <laughs> Early Life P. T. Usha was born in the village of Payoli, Kori Code District, Kerala. In 1976, the Kerala state government started a sports school for women and Usha was chosen to represent her district. <laughs> <laughs> Career Usha was first noticed in 1976 by O. M. Nambier, an athletics coach, at a sports prize distribution ceremony. In an interview with Rediff.com in 2000, he said, "...what impressed me at first sight about Usha was her lean shape and fast walking style. I knew she could become a very good sprinter." The same year, he began coaching her. Quick results followed when she won five medals at the Interstate Meet for Juniors, in Kolam in 1978, with four gold medals in 100m, 200m, 60m hurdles and high jump, silver in long jump and bronze in 4x100m relay. In the year's Kerala State College Meet, she won 14 medals. She went on to win multiple medals at the 1979 National Games and 1980 National Interstate Meet setting many meet records. She made an unimpressive Olympic debut at the 1980 Moscow Games at 16, and was eliminated in the heats of the 100m finishing fifth. At the senior interstate meet in Bangalore in 1981, Usha clocked 11.8 seconds in the 100m and 24.6 seconds in the 200m, setting national records in both. At the 1982 New Delhi Asian Games, she won silver medals in 100m and 200m, clocking 11.95s and 25.32s. At the 1983 Open National Championships in Jamshedpur, she broke the 200m national record again clocking 23.9s, and with 53.6s, set a new national record in 400m. At the Asian Championships in Kuwait City the same year, she won gold in 400 meters. Topic: 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. Usha's best moment came at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. She entered on the back of a string of good performances at the year's New Delhi Interstate Meet and Mumbai Open National Championships. However, poor performances in 100m and 200m at the Moscow World Championships prompted her to concentrate on the 400m hurdles. At the Olympics trials in Delhi, she beat Asian champion M. D. Valsama to qualify for the Games. At another pre-Olympics trials, she clocked 55.7 seconds beating American top sprinter Judy Brown. At the Games, she clocked 56.81 s in the heats and 55.54 s in the semifinal, setting a new Commonwealth record as she entered the final. At the final, she came fourth, at 55.42 seconds, falling behind the eventual bronze medalist by one one-hundredth of a second. This followed after one of her competitors had a false start, which was said to have broken her rhythm, as she got off the blocks a bit slower at the restart. In the 1985 Jakarta Asian Championships, Usha won six medals, five gold and one bronze. She won the 100 meters in 11.64, 200 meters in 23.05, 400 meters in 52.62, an Asian record, and 400 meters hurdles in 56.64, with the final two coming in a span of 35 minutes. Her fifth gold came in 4x400 m relay, and a final bronze in 4x100 m. She set a record in the process for most gold medals won at a single event in the history of the championships. In the first two of her wins, she equaled the Asian record held by Kai Cheng of Taiwan. She went on to better her personal best in 400 m a week later at the 1985 Canberra World Cup, when she clocked 51.61, finishing 7. She almost replicated her Jakarta Championships performance at the 1986 Seoul Asian Games. She won the 100 m silver with a time of 11.67 seconds losing the gold to Lydia de Vega. 
The 200 m gold came in 23.44, 400 m gold in 52.16 and 4 x 400 m relay gold in 3 minutes 34 seconds and 58 milliseconds, all of which were new games records. At the Games, British athletics coach Jim Alford said of her, Usha is a first-class athlete, a tough competitor and a terrific runner to watch. She has all the potential. Given careful guidance, she can be world-class. Later stage Prior to taking to the 1987 Singapore Asian Championships, Usha spent a month training in London under Alford. She began the championships with a silver in the 100 meters after falling behind De Vega by 0.31 seconds. She dropped out of the 200 meter race as the 400 meters hurdles final was scheduled in 70 minutes from the former. She went on to win gold in 400 meters hurdles clocking 56.48s and another gold in 400 meters with a timing of 52.31s. She won two more medals in the competition. Silver in 4x100 meters relay and gold in 4x400 meters relay. From 1983 to 89, Usha garnered 13 golds at ATF meets. In the 10th Asian Games held at Seoul in 1986, PT Usha won four gold medals and one silver medal in the track and field events. She also won five gold medals at the 6th Asian Track and Field Championship in Jakarta in 1985. Her medals at the same meet is a record for a single athlete in a single international meet. Usha has won 101 international medals. She is employed as an officer in the Southern Railways. In 1984, she was conferred the Padma Shri and the Arjuna Award. Currently, she coaches young athletes at her training academy in Kerala, including Tintu Luka, who qualified for the women's semi final 800 metres at the London 2012 Olympics. Achievements Represented India in 4x100 m relay together with Rachita Mistry, E. B. Shaila, and Saraswati Saha at the 1998 Asian Championships in Athletics where her team won the gold medal on way to setting the current national record of 44.43 s. Personal life Usha married V. Srinivasan, an inspector with Central Industrial Security Force in 1991. They have a son together, Ujwal. Awards and honours D. Lit. Honoris Causa conferred by University of Calicut, 2018 Padma Shri in 1985 Arjuna Award in 1985 Statistics International competitions See also List of Indian records in athletics List of Indian sportswomen List of Kerala Olympians Topic. Further reading Gupta, Indra 2003. India's 50 Most Illustrious Women. Icon Publications. ISBN 8188086037.